Hey folks, dude here, coming around, uh, just pretty much driving around late at night, and something's come to mind. I mean, I've been listening to the talk radio, and you have to think about things as completely honest here. And completely honestly, the Green Party, Jill Stein, whatever hell her stupid name is, George Soros, the rest of these guys, anybody that's got an ism and an ist after their name, they're not doing real good. And if you think about it right now, Barack Hussein Obama, who tends to side with the Muslim Brotherhood, has just lost one of his best and brightest stars universe. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro es muerte. Chinga su madre puta. So chinga rabla puto. Y chinga su familia. Basically, I'm just saying he, he can have a good time in hell. Coño. Chinga coño. That, that person of, well, complete and total disrepute. And I, I love the Cuban people, okay? Don't don't even get me wrong here. I love the Cuban people. Every time I've always met them, they're outstandingly amazing people. They're exceedingly friendly. They're just a good bunch of folk. They come here, they make a really good show of just busting their ass, and uh, they're good Americans, okay? When they come here, they are good Americans. Those people who suffered under Castro, chingarabla puto, uh, that that uh, pendejo, he truly made life suck for all the uh, the rest of the people in Cuba. And uh, that grande pendejo deserves a grande, grande, grande hangout in uh, Enfiano. Because that pendejo grande, he made life suck for the people in Cuba. And uh, by and large, there's, there's not too many other people I wish would be down there. But you know what? Hopefully him, Hitler, and Janet Reno are all basically doing a threesome and... Uh, it's going to be in the perpetuity. Hopefully, you know, he catches up with the uh, the little Nicky scene that I just love quoting, where Hitler's like, seriously, is this what I'm doing? And Hitler's just sitting there, and then Satan's going, yep, that's right, turn around. And he proceeds to get the old, big old piña. The piña. The piña grande, la culo. Ah, that's just my favorite scene. I'll put an annotation in there so people don't, don't know of which I speak, but la piña grande, la culo. Ah, it's we be in. I'm really a fan of it. And those of you who speak the Spanish lingo, you kind of get what I'm saying here, but those of you who don't get the Spanish lingo, well, let's just say um, I'm calling him just about everything possible I possibly can because Castro was a grande pendejo and he deserves a grande tiempo en la infierno. He, 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 I think that for all the stuff he did to other people, he can enjoy the good old times hanging out with Satan and Satan's going, yeah, yeah, on the date of so-and-so and so, yeah, you weren't a really, really nice guy. And by and large, I'm going to give you a reminder here. It is called a big honking pineapple stuck square in your ass. Enjoy. Uh, but of all those people who truly could deserve, deserve and, well, you know, should be reserved straight to the old Hell Express. Castro is at the top of the list. And Obama, I'm sure, is very, very disappointed to see one of his butt buddies down there in the perpetuity going, oh, man, this truly does suck. Yeah, that's right. El grande pendejo en la tierra Cuba. I hope you enjoy yourself your good old time at 30 in Enfiano. Su puta grande. Uh, hijo de puta. All right, man, I'm going to break all of this one, folks, but of all the people that truly deserve a good old time in Enfiano, oh, it's definitely Castro. What a piece of crap. Grande pico de mierda. Chingarabla, puto. I'm glad he's gone. F him. F him. F him to hell. All right, folks, I'm going to break up with this one. Eco keep tendering, as always, always, you know you love it. Obama, you're not going to win this one. And Hillary, neither are you. Both you suck asses are looking at Trump winning again. Suck it, bitches. Suck it. See you guys. Urgh.